today an Illustrator vector tutorial where we're going to create a sleek futuristic vector design. Also at the very end of today's video I've got an interesting announcement to make so stay tuned for that too. The very first thing that we need to do for our futuristic neon vector design is to have a document and today we're going to be working in an RGB format which is perfect for web and screen based graphics. Now we want to use RGB because the blur effects render a lot better on RGB document. Now we want a background colour for the vector design and it needs to be quite dark. So choose a fairly dark colour in the colours palette and then make a shape off to one side. We're going to want to sample the shape later. Now press M for the rectangle tool and then draw a shape that covers the entire artboard. You can now press Command or Control 2 to lock down the background in place. So we're going to set up the colour effects for our entire design by selecting a stroke colour in the colour palette and then creating a stroke circle. You need to press L for the ellipse tool and also use the shortcut by holding down Shift whilst clicking and dragging. To add the actual neon effect, come into the appearance panel and with your circle selected, click the stroke option in the appearance panel. And then, you're going to need to come into the effects options down below. We're going to add an outer glow to the stroke, giving off the kind of neon effect that we want for today's design. You're going to want to add a similar or the same colour for your stroke in the outer glow and use a blend mode of normal, then you can experiment with the blur and the opacity values whilst having the preview box checked. It's going to help today if you have the smart guys activated and you can activate them by pressing command or control U on your keyboard. Then press M for the rectangle tool. Hold down shift and the alt option key at the very same time and then create a square perfectly in the centre of the circle like so. Then release the keys on your keyboard and stretch the square downwards to make a rectangle. Go ahead and add an outer glow effect to this rectangle in the appearance panel as we did previously for the circle. We're going to add two guides for the remainder of today's tutorial to keep everything perfectly neat and aligned to so drag down a vertical and a horizontal guide onto your design. To make sure everything is central, hold down shift and then click the circle and then each of the two guides at the same time and then you can align everything of that selection like so. So the next part of today's neon vector tutorial can be a bit fiddly, but it is essential. Click the rectangle and then press R for the rotate tool. Click and drag the icon down to the very center of your design and then click once Hold down the Alt Option key and then click again. Now there are other ways to create the next part of today's design using the Strokes panel, but I'm going to use a Rotate tool for the remainder of today's video. We're going to use math to create duplications, so type in 360 divided by a number. And for my design, I landed on 65 objects. And then once you're ready, click Copy. And then, without pressing anything else, press Command or Control D repeatedly until you nearly fill up a full circle of shapes. I haven't actually thought of a faster way to do the next stage in today's tutorial, but it's not too time consuming anyway. So you're going to need to select each rectangle and then manually lower the opacity so the design becomes more vibrant as it goes around the circle. So let's keep going and now finish the rest of today's futuristic neon vector design because there are some very specific steps that you need to take. So go ahead and open up the appearance panel and then clear the appearance. This means that when we make a new shape, those specific settings are not going to be applied to that shape. Hold down the Alt Option key and then click and drag to duplicate the black circle and bring it into the center of your design. Hold down the Alt Option key and Shift at the same time 
and then resize the circle as I'm doing here. So we want a stroke only and we're going to add a Gaussian blur to the circle, giving a kind of slight shadow effect over the rectangle shapes that we've just made. So this part of the design is optional, but I feel it's a really nice addition to the overall neon effect of today's video. Select the outermost circle and then press Command or Control C to copy it, and then press Command or Control F to paste a duplication right over the top. So again, holding down Shift and the Alt Option key, scale the circle downwards. You can do that once more to add more detail and intricate elements to your futuristic design. And detail is pretty essential today because it does help the overall effect. Next, carefully select one rectangle and then head up to select, same, and then choose shape. You will now have selected all of the rectangles and you can press Command or Control G to group them together. Copy this group with Command or Control C and then paste a duplicate with Command or Control F. And again, scale this down somewhere on your design, thus adding more interest and detail once more. You can play around with the opacity and if you want, you can lay two duplicates over each other to increase the vibrancy on that specific part of your design. So next, we're going to add one of my favourite details and sections of today's design. Press P for the pen tool, and then hold down shift to make a vertically straight line. You can press V for the selection tool to select off of the line, and then press R for the rotate tool. We're going to copy this shape around, and as we did before, drag the rotate tool down to the centre of the design, click once, hold down the Alt Option key and then click again. Type in one degree and then hit copy. And then again use the command or control D shortcut so you're going to have 360 lines around the circle. As we did with the rectangles, click one of them and then select same but this time use stroke weight. Press command or control G to group this section together. This is going to make your life a lot easier as a designer in today's video when selecting and moving objects. So we have one last part of today's video, and that is to press L for the Ellipse tool, and then hold down both Shift and Alt Option key at the same time, and add a circle exactly in this position here. Using the Rotate tool once more, we're going to create some copies. And this time, we're going to divide 60 into 360. However, only use the Command or Control D process for 90 degrees of a circle. Hold down shift and carefully select all of the new circles. We need to use the rotate tool for one last time today. And we're going to rotate this section by 315 degrees so that everything is aligned and neat and perfect for your vector design. Copy and duplicate a circle and then scale it down to the same circumference as the small circles that we just made. And if you've been following along, then you should already know the keyboard shortcuts by now. And kudos to you if you have been following along religiously. Now bring down a guide just below the smaller circles, and then press C for the scissors tool, and click twice on the larger circle that we just made. Press V, and then select the uppermost part and remove it. Finally, I'm going to add a round cap to the circle, which I personally feel looks a lot better for the futuristic vector design today. You can basically copy certain aspects of your design and then rescale them up or down as I've done here. The design looks awesome after being saved, but it might look a bit sketchy after being rendered by my video editing software. So I have a quick announcement to make before the end of today's video. Now many subscribers have suggested that I take your designs and I critique them and also review them in a video. And this is something I'm more than happy to do but only if you guys want to see such content on my channel. So maybe normally on a Friday, I would give a video on the business side of graphic design, and in the second half of the video, I would actually critique and review your guys' work. 
I can even do things like make mock-up briefs for you to work with, and then the following week I will critique the work. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing on this channel here at Sator Graphics. Also make sure to subscribe and keep updated to all of my uploads, and also have a great weekend. And until next time, design your future today. Peace.